Hey guys, welcome back to another Saturday video, which is my most favorite day Saturday, okay? So today we have lots of cool stuff in the basement Dino Dungeon, so follow me, okay? So we are now in the basement Dino Dungeon. Take a look at all this stuff right here on the table. We have the latest Gujitsu Minis, latest wave of wall pop-ups. We have some really cool stuff I got from Universal Studios Singapore. So today I'm gonna show you guys like the entire collection of um wall pop-ups, entire collection of Gujitsu, as well as movie merchandise. I will also pick up all the different adult dinosaurs because all the wall pop-ups are actually baby dinosaurs. So let's head over to level two, Jurassic World Midlands. Let's go. All right, guys, we're now in the basement, not basement, level two Jurassic World Midlands. Let me turn on the lights. Yes, so we have to pick up the entire collection of our Gujitsu figures. So we'll do a comparison later on. So let's get all of this out. Okay, guys, all the Gujitsu figures are in the box. Now let's head over to the mini shelves right here to pick up the 12 different wild pop-ups. All of them are like baby dinosaurs. So for each figure, we will be picking up an adult figure from this shelf. Okay, so let's do this, guys. Okay, guys, have a look. I've placed them right here on this floor mat. So for every figure, we will be finding the exact same adult dinosaur. We definitely have one for the Gigar, Therizinosaurus, um, this Ceratosaurus. We definitely have um, every single one. Allosaurus, so let's pick all of them up. All right, guys, check this out. I've actually spent the last about 20 minutes trying to set all of them up and of course, to take a nice photo for the thumbnail. And we are ready to record the video. Yes, check this out. What a beautiful and magnificent setup right here, guys. Okay, so let's begin. Let's go. All right, guys, so let's have a look at the very first item. Shall we open up one of these Gujitsu minis? I think this one is my most favorite one. It seems to be like a rare version. So I'm going to keep like this plastic container for sure. I've actually ordered the entire set, but they did not give me the entire set, guys, which is kind of um, set. Uh, I will not be destroying the packaging because I still want to make some videos for my TikTok. So I'm definitely going to keep the packaging. So if you guys like, you know, if you are on Instagram and TikTok, do follow me there as well because I do upload reels over there. And of course, if you guys want to have like a custom knit video, you can also request from there as well. So let's have a look at our very first Gujitsu Mini. This is my first one. Too bad it doesn't come with a stand. You know, if it comes with a stand, it will be beautiful. Okay, let's have a look at this. Wow. Looks really, really cool. I'm just thinking how we can actually display them. I am qu quite confused on how we can actually display them. I'm definitely going to put it back into this, um, you know, this plastic cover because it actually holds it together but I'm not too sure how we can actually make it stand. So if you guys have any suggestions on how we can actually display Gujitsu Minis, I will be extremely glad or extremely thankful to you guys. Okay, so this is our very first one right here, the Amber Tyrannosaurus Rex. I think it looks super adorable. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here. Next up. Okay, let's have a look at this. You guys know I just went to um, Universal Studios uh, two days ago. Yep, um, so I went there on a Thursday, so it's quite a nice one. So I got this from um, the store, so you can see Universal Studios. Uh, quite a cute little tumbler, so it's basically like a water bottle, I, I feel. You can just put in um, um, drinks inside. Very cute. This is of course Rexy. Too bad we don't have other figures. Um, the other one I've got is actually this, which is the um, Universal Studios Singapore Triceratops. This is actually a, a tumbler as well, so I bought this with the soda inside, so it's kind of cute. I'll be showing you guys like my entire collection of all this um, tumblers and water bottles that I have from Jurassic World. Okay, next up guys, let's have a look at the Baryonyx. So this is a new series, the new series, the latest 2023 Wild Pop-Ups. 
minis uncaged wild pop up. So let's get them out. I mean, let's get it out. This is basically the um, Baryonyx. The closest Baryonyx that I can think of is actually the one from Cam Cretaceous. I mean, if you guys have any other suggestions, just let me know down below. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Baryonyx is known as the heavy claw, but you can't really see the claw right here. But um, let's have a look at this little cute feather. So you can press the, um, the body down like this, and you can see the eyes will actually close. And if you press it again, it will just pop up again. Very, very adorable. So for every wild pop up, I'm gonna show you guys like the adult equivalent of the dinosaur. I think it sits right over there, guys. Okay, so check this up. I've actually brought one Baryonyx to be compared with this. So this, if I'm not wrong, is Baryonyx Limbo from Camp Cretaceous. This is a raw attack figure. So there are like three notches on top. I think you guys have seen this before. It's quite a cool figure, I would say. It's definitely better than the um, Sound Strike. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here. And this one pop up over here. Next up, let's have a look at another Gujitsu mini. Shall we go with the um, Gigar? Okay, so let's go with the Gigar. Let's have a look at this. Okay, not to open from the top. I'm gonna open from the bottom. I'm gonna make the opening as neat as possible. But of course, if you're using like a pair of scissors at home, just be really careful. I mean, if you are a kid, if you are an adult, have your parents to help you. I'm just kidding. If you are an adult, just be, you know, careful as well. So this is basically Gigar. Let's get it out. I feel all of these mini figures, they are extremely cute. You can actually stretch them. Very, very cute and adorable, I'd say. Gigar. Okay, I'm gonna put it back into the box. I'm gonna show you guys like the um, adult version. I'm gonna put this right here first. The adult Gigar is right here, guys. This is basically um, so you can actually like press the body, and you can see there are like little beads inside. This is basically um, the adult Gigar. Uh, I'm gonna put this one right here. The, the can stand, as you guys can see. So what I actually did is that I I got myself a container like this, and I place it inside this container. Yeah. But for the minifigures, we are going to have a little issue. Oh, I have an idea. I have this plastic shelf. Check this out. So we can possibly put them like this. This may also work, guys. I think this is a good idea. Yeah, and I'm thinking of installing the shelves over here. So there's a possibility of us like displaying this Wujitsu over here. I think that's a very, very good idea then. Extremely good idea, Dan. <laughs> I am just praising myself at this at this moment. Okay, let's 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 use this as the display stand for now as well. Okay, let's put um the Giga right here. We also have the um Tyrannosaurus Rex. I love this suggestion of having uh, the Gujisu figures line up here. I think this is a fantastic idea, Dan. Well done, Dan. <laughs> All right, guys, so before we actually move on to other figures, shall we open one of this? We are still trying to get our galley mimers. Okay, so so normally what I do, as you guys can see, I'm struggling to even open the plastic film, is that I'm just gonna cut like a little slit right here. I prefer not to show you guys like, you know, the way I cut using a, a you know, a pocket knife. Not a pocket knife, pen knife. Because some parents, because some of my viewers are actually like kids as, you know, I mean, it's, it's quite obvious. So some parents will actually contact me and tell me, hey Dan, stop that. Don't open using a box cutter, which is like this one. So yeah, so I try to be, oh, ho, ho, ho. we've got it guys, galley mimers. Okay, but the main thing is that we, we need to make sure that the Gale Mamas can stand. But I think you guys want to watch the slime. I know, I know. So let's open this. Oh my goodness. This slime is extremely messy, guys. Extremely, extremely messy. Not a huge fan of this slime. 
I definitely like the um, improved version more because this can be quite annoying. So let's let's put this golden slime into um, the eggshell. You can see it's very very sticky. It's not easy to get all of them out, and you can see my fingers are actually extremely sticky and dirty. So, yep. I need a piece of um, tissue paper. Okay, let me just clean my hands. Okay, that's the, that's all. That's the only slime that you get to watch today, guys. I know that you guys love watching slime, but you know, this is all you are getting today. And uh, let's open the galley mimers up. Okay, what? They gave me two cards. This should be an error, guys. It's definitely 100% an error. So very cool, very very cool. Maybe they know that I'm looking, you know, to get this galley mimers. Oh my goodness! Take a look at the legs. I'm pretty sure this this dude can stand. So let's just pop in the tail. Nah, can stand as well. Yes, yeah, very very difficult to make it stand. I think it's fine. It's fine, but I'm just glad that we finally got another galley mimers. It's pretty rare to me at least. Alright guys, so let's move on and take a look at other wild pop ups. How about this one? Um Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus, this is definitely like a new addition to the D lineup. So let's get Spino out of the box. Okay, this one is not easy to cut. This pair of scissors is not extremely good. I, I miss my pair of um, um, yellow um, scissors. So there's still one more right here. Cool guys, very nice. So take a look at this. This is basically Spinosaurus. You can actually see the little spine, the neural spine bones on his back. Of course, it's known as the spine lizard, you guys are Okay, so there are actually two sets of eyes if you take a look at this. Okay, the one with the um, beautiful wide open eyes, the other one is like this very sleepy eyes. Very cool. So this is basically Spinosaurus. So what I've brought today, it's a Spinosaurus that many of you guys have not seen it in a while. It has been quite some time since um, you've seen this Spinosaurus. This is actually one of the um, very rare ones out there. So battle damage Spinosaurus, um, I actually have a spare one which is super rare right there. I kept it inside the box, that is the one right there. It's very rare um, and uh, I think it's really hard to get. So it's definitely one of the most fun figure figures that Mattel has produced. You can actually see slime inside his body which is awesome. So we can just pop it right back. Okay. So, let's move on to our next figure. So, I'm gonna put this aside first. How about another um, Gujitsu Mini? So, similarly, I'm gonna be opening from bottom up. Okay. Alright. This is basically Pyro, guys. Pyro Raptor, which is known as the Fire Teeth. So let's get it out. Very cute, stretchable, extremely cute little figure. Okay, so I'm gonna put it right back so that we can actually display it in the, um, um, the box. I mean, on the, the, this little shelving. So like this, I think it looks really cute. You'll probably need to like tape it up, you know, using like a little scotch tape right here and tape it. Yeah, just to make it close. Okay, next up, what shall we look at? How about another mini wall pop-ups? Let's get the Atrociraptor, Atrociraptor Red. Okay, this scissors is really not good. I really need my pair of um, yellow scissors. I have no idea where it went to. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to find it again. So let's get this out. Atrocity Raptor Red. Oh my goodness. The Spinosaurus have some standing issues. He has some joint problems. 
Yep, so what I did previously was that I actually lean it against something. So we'll probably lean it against this egg right here, okay? Okay, so this is a Trociraptor red right here. So I'm just gonna put this right here and um, let's try to find red over here. I think um, this is the one. So you can see the colors are extremely consistent with one another. The eyes are also in yellow with the um, black slit pupil. Beautiful figure. Let's move on to the next one. Let's um, have a look at this. Who is this? Um, this is probably Echo. Yeah, this is Echo. So let's get Echo out of the pack. Okay, this is basically Echo. A beautiful figure, but too bad you, you can't really see like um, anything inside. And of course, I've brought um, the adult version of Echo as well. So, where is it? I think this is the um, adult version, guys. This is the Echo. This is blue. This is um. It's really hard to tell, guys. You, you you can't tell at all. So this is probably. I think this is Charlie. This one is Charlie. This is. This is probably Delta. We don't have Echo right now. Yep. Okay, so let's put this on right here. Let's open the next latest one, which is the um, Dimorphodon. So let's get the strings out. Oh, this one is hard to open, guys. This one is extremely hard to cut. I'm gonna cut it from the back like this. Yep, got it out. This is a Dimorphodon. The latest Dimorphodon, very very cool. Um, I've brought a Dimorphodon figure, which I think is like the closest to the colors of this. It's sitting right there, over here. So have a look. I can't remember whether this is from Camp Cretaceous, but this is the closest one that I can find. But of course, the green is actually very very different. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Shall we take a look at this? This is uh, very sure this is blue. So for blue, there is actually quite a fair, quite a few different blues uh, from Gujitsu. There's like wave one and wave two. So let's have a look at the mini one first. Absolutely adorable. Pretty cute, I would say. Highly <laughs> stretchable, but please don't pull it too hard. Otherwise, blue it will be damaged for sure. Okay, so that's blue. So this is the um second wave of um the Gujisu blue. So you can actually see what's inside the body. It's like blue slime. Very very cool. Can you see that? Very cool. Okay, the other one is um the wave one. The wave one is um I wouldn't say it's uh it's still very cool, but you can see the paint is like coming off um very very easily. What I like about the wave two is that you can actually find different stuff inside the body. Okay, this one is also like red slime for the controllers. For the pyro raptor, you can actually see feathers inside, which is super cute, I would say. Very very creative. Um for the T-Rex is even cuter I would say you can find like an insect it's like a mosquito <laughs> as well as some bones inside so it's super super adorable okay next up let's op open this which is the um, T-Rex okay the T-Rex very cute little T-Rex it definitely looks um, very similar to the um, Wave 1 Tyrannosaurus Rex. So let's put this back into this little box. Yeah, I mean, I think I have a suggestion for, you know, Gujitsu is to make this little plastic box 
closable you can just snap it closed and it comes with a stand i think that will be beautiful because there will, there will be people like me who wants to display all of them so if they are able to provide like a little stand i think that will be perfect okay so for the t-rex i've brought this which is known as the um thrash and devour tyrannosaurus rex okay you can move the tail you can press the button very cool it has been a while since um, we have taken a look at this figure okay so this four are the latest ones i have brought my entire army of the um wild pop up so this is the therizinosaurus very cute little one and of course i have brought the slash and annoying therizinosaurus <sighs> did you guys hear that I was just holding on to it and it raw. So, you know, I had this figure. I was placing it in my shelf and the entire night I think there was like, you know, it was touching like something and it was like roaring non-stop. So I find this figure like the most annoying one um, in the entire series. So I call this the slash and annoy Therizinosaurus. I hope that you guys don't mind if this is like your most favorite figure. <laughs> Hope you do hope you guys don't mind but i'm pretty sure you can understand why i've named it the slash and annoying um oh, very okay next up uh, i'm gonna open one of this because i have a sense that you guys might be bought and uh, you you want to watch me open one of this so i'm just gonna cut like a little slit right here Okay, let's have a look. So, this slime is uh, is a good slime. I want to show it to you guys. Okay, so this slime is um, as you guys can see, it's very hard to open. This slime is so much better. It's the new improved formula that doesn't stick to your hands. You can see it doesn't stick to my hands at all, unlike the other one. So you can just pass it around and. It feels really good. Yep, I like I like this glow in the dark slime, but we have um way too much of them to be honest. <laughs> okay, so let's um move on. What? Wait a minute, move on. We we have to open this. I've totally forgotten that we have a, a pack to open. So let's tear this open. Allosaurus, guys, we've got the Allosaurus, which I think it's um it's not bad. The Allosaurus is actually quite a rare one I want to say it's rare but we don't have uh, many of them so let's just pop it right in Allosaurus beautiful let's take a look at some facts about the Allosaurus killer rating of 7 and intelligence of 6 so the Allosaurus if I'm not wrong it's actually right here so this is the uh, wild pop-up of the Allosaurus and I've brought, uh, what is this known as? Extreme Damage Allosaurus. I think this is like one of the um, great figures that Mattel has produced. It's very value for money, I would say, because it has sounds. It also has the battle damage mechanism. You can leave the ribcage off. You can close the wound. I usually close it because otherwise, dust will enter it easily so very cool i'm gonna put the allosaurus right here next up giganotosaurus the wall pop up we have the strike and raw giga right at the back you guys have seen it before so many times so i'll not be bringing it over here Carnotaurus. okay this Carnotaurus it has a flaw it is supposed to have a broken horn but it doesn't show for that we have definitely brought the conotaurus the right conotaurus from the malta chase set right here so you can see the color scheme it's um quite similar i would say i wouldn't say it's identical i wouldn't say it's exactly the same but very very similar have you guys like i mean do you guys remember the scene where the conotaurus was like was like battling in um that the black market in um dress with them you know i love that scene is is really cool next up we have um a tiger 
Okay. Cute little fella. The Trusty Raptor Tiger, I think, it's right here. So it was like one of the um, figures that was pretty hard to find. So there's only one Atrocity Raptor Tiger so far. Whereas for um, um, Red, there are a couple of um, other figures. Okay, next up, how about this, guys? Moros Intrepidus. You've definitely seen this before. So, Moros, where, is, where are you, Moros? Right here, guys. Moros Intrepidus is basically the name means Harbinger of Doom. Very, very, very cool uh, name, I would say. Okay. The color scheme seems to be very different because you can see the entire head right here is painted with orange paint whereas this one is more of a turquoise green. Atrociraptor Ghost. So it's right here. Okay. Okay, if this it's the um, Ceratosaurus. So I've also brought a Ceratosaurus it's sitting right here guys. This one, it's um, if I'm not wrong, it's also from Camp Cretaceous. It's a raw attack. Ceratosaurus. I love the raw attack series, although I'm not a huge fan of this switch because it doesn't look um, clean enough for me. But it's still much better than the um, than the slash and annoying of Therizinosaurus. This is the um, Pyroraptor, guys, which is known as the Fire Teeth. So I've brought one of them, or I should have brought the um, extreme damage one because this one is kind of like clean and simple. Yep. I love the scene where the um, Pyroraptor was like chasing Owen and um, Kalar. Wow, that scene was very, very exciting. Here we have the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So we have already, uh, we have already taken a look at um, the T-Rex. So let's not have a look at that again. Dillo, the Lophosaurus right here. So I've brought the latest one, which is from Jurassic World Dominion. But unfortunately, I have lost the Venom, the Speed. Yeah, very, very, um, very sad about that. But of course, I have um, uh, another set, but I don't intend to open that set, guys. So, oh, I mean, if you guys can send me one of the Venom, if you have a spare one, I will be extremely grateful. So this is a, a blue, a blue figure. Um, this is it. All right, I've brought the um, battle damage one. So, oh yes, I wanted to show you guys my collection of um, movie tumblers and stuff, right? So let me quickly show you. Check this out. So these are basically different like movie collectibles. So right at the back, you can see we do have uh, an Indominus Rex tumbler. So I'll be putting my tumblers collection maybe right here, but you can see we are sort of like running out of space. So I definitely need to move things around. Uh, I think we can squeeze squeeze it right in over here. I think so. We can definitely do so. Okay. So yeah, we have reached the end of the video. You can see we have a huge mess to clean up later on. Right here, you can see plenty of um, trash to be kept, to be thrown away, to be recycled. And um, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Next week, hopefully we get more figures. You know, I'm very excited about the latest wave of the Hammond Collection figures. Hopefully, it will arrive soon. So, yep, I'll be making some TikTok videos later on. So, um, hopefully, you guys can follow me on TikTok. Just search for Dan Surprise. Follow me on Instagram because I upload very, very often over there. And, you know, once again, if you guys want to request for a personalized video, a custom video just for yourself, you can go on to our About Ours tab. There's a link right there. You can click on the link. You can actually order a customized video for yourself, for your family, for you know your friend's birthday. All right. Thanks for watching this. I am Dan. Um, I love making videos, and um, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.